did a thing. <laughs> I decided to cut my hair this morning. I just, I genuinely think it looks the same. I don't know, I feel like I never look below here anyway, so honestly, it feels the same to me, like a little bit different, I guess. Um, but thanks to my patrons this morning for egging me on and encouraging me to chop it off. So <laughs> I kind of did it live with them. Um, I did it with kitchen scissors, nothing fancy. It's actually like super uneven, but like I really just don't care. It's good enough. And I mostly wear black anyway, so you wouldn't be able to see very much. So that's that. That's one thing off the to-do list for October. I mean, it's still technically September, but I have been meaning to do that for a really long time. So that is awesome. Um, exciting news. My cameo should be coming today. Constantly staring out the window waiting for the delivery guy. I have been playing around with Silhouette Studio um, for most of the morning, just like adding in my sticker sheets, getting familiar with it um, so that when it comes I can just like do a test print straight away because you can download it beforehand, which is awesome. And so far it's pretty good. The one thing I don't like is that it doesn't have like the same layers kind of panel. I know you can pay a little bit more to... Uh, for the designer edition to get the layers panel, but I want to see if I don't, like, I can kind of make do without it. It'll just take a while to get used to without it, but um, I need to work on the Patreon calendar, which I finished part of it yesterday. Sorry, <laughs> making you guys sick. I was working on that moon quote. So I've got that, and it says, And like the moon, we must go through phases of emptiness to feel full again. And I love that. Um, that's something that I'm kind of, like, been thinking about. And I really feel passionately about that we can't ride this wave of motivation all the time. And we need breaks. We need breaks to recharge, recover, and our creativity, I feel, works in waves as well. So I'm going to work on the rest of the calendar in planner card printables today. Hopefully when the cameo comes, then I can test that out as well. Mm -hmm.
I did this in and I forgot I did it and it's kind of cool so I'm gonna do it again but today my to-do list for today is to record the podcast pack and ship some orders and do some bookkeeping those are my main three to-dos obviously I have other stuff on my list but I thought it'd be cool to kind of show you guys my three main to-dos every day if I can or as much as I can in the vlog so I'm going to print some stickers and get them cut first. Hopefully I have no problem with the cameo uh, and that's why I can pack the orders and then once I pack and ship the orders then I will record the podcast. That's the plan. <laughs> Good morning, um, actually it's afternoon, but I thought I would give you an update on the cameo because I haven't really spoken about it since I got it, you saw me unboxing it. Um, so I don't know where to start, but <laughs> this is going to be long. I just want to say there are a lot of good and a lot of bad with it. So I want this to be informative if you are considering switching to the cameo. So. Getting started was really easy. I already downloaded Silhouette Studio beforehand to get familiar with it so that once I set everything up, I could kind of just start printing and cutting straight away. Um, I actually have a list of notes of some kind of some of the main points that I just wanted to talk about. So um, the one thing that I really love is the cutting space of the Cameo. Yeah, the cutting space is a lot bigger, like on the mat, because the registration marks are actually proper registration marks. It's it's not forcing you to do this really thick border like Cricut does. So you do have a lot more room to cut. It doesn't matter so much for me with 
backing sheets because I can only fit two to a page anyway, but it uses a lot less ink to print the registration marks because I always hated how much black ink it used to make that border. Um, and it just reads the registration marks a whole lot faster as well. So getting started with cutting is just much, much faster than the Cricut. That's the one thing that I, I, what am I saying? That I noticed. <laughs> um, Design Studio, the Silhouette Studio is much more advanced. And much better just using it like for multiple projects like managing multiple projects is just so much easier because all of your projects are tabs within the app um, it's a proper app like Cricut Design Space is like not really a proper app it's kind of just a redo of their web app and even though there's like offline functionality you you need to manually save everything I mean you, there's probably some setting you can toggle but just overall it's just a lot easier to use um, even though it's more advanced and there's more settings and you got to learn a lot more things, it's just, there's way less, it's just, I don't know how to explain it, your, your process is much more streamlined, like your workflow. So um, another thing that I love is design and send. So with Cricut, once you want to go cut your project, you have to click on the make it tab and it'll take you to another screen. So you're kind of locked into that screen. You can't like re-edit your design while you're waiting. What you can do is do the hack where you open up a new window and you start working on it. But I had problems with that because if I opened a project up in the new window, if I went to the send, like the make it tab, um, the make it screen, it would interrupt the maker halfway through a project. So I could never actually leave the design screen. Whereas with the Silhouette Studio, I can go back and forth between the design and send and change all sorts of settings and it doesn't interrupt the Cameo's cutting, like what it's cutting right now. And I think that's just amazing. It's just way more efficient. I can start working on a new project um, without worrying and start printing it without worrying about interrupting the current thing. So you could only print your design when you're on the Make It screen for Cricut, but you can print from the design page, which I really, really like. I think most people know this, but I didn't know this. There are multiple cut settings. So that means you can kiss cut and die cut in the same project because the auto blade that comes with the Cameo, it can automatically adjust different thicknesses and blade settings and whatnot. So I don't have to duplicate the backing sheet four times to get it to die cut. I can just change, I can have a specific cut setting for that backing sheet so it cuts much deeper or passes it, that's called pass, sorry, it, or it cuts it twice so that it actually cuts it out, but also just kiss cut the stickers in the same project. So like, that's just so much more time saving and just so much easier to manage. You don't, you're not dealing with crazy ton of layers. Um, I'm doing the pros right now, but I'm gonna go into the uh, cons after this. You can also choose to not cut a layer. So with Cricut, if you didn't want it to cut something, you had to hide it. You had to hide that layer or you had to um, flatten it so that Cricut wouldn't recognize it. You didn't have a choice to not cut a layer. And that was really, really annoying. But with Cameo, since you set, with each layer, you set a cut line, which tells the Cameo how, how to cut it basically. But you can choose to not have a cut line for an image or for a layer, which means Cameo will basically just ignore it and not cut it, which makes it so good, um, especially for if you have bleed on your, like, for example, my circle stickers, I have like a bleed. I just want it to print it, but I don't want it to cut it. So what I would have to do was flatten the bleed onto the backing um, sheet, which was okay. It was kind of a workaround, but it just meant that if I ever wanted to sent how the stick like it, it just restricted me so the fact that i can keep, still keep it as a separate layer and not be forced to cut it is awesome is that just oh and the fact that you can just drag in an image file to upload is amazing like i'm so annoyed at how Cricut design space made you go through this whole upload process i mean it was nice because you got to customize it but really like everyone was doing the same thing every time and i just want to drag in a photo, drag in multiple photos, and it just uploads it straight away. It is amazing. It just, that whole workflow is just so much faster. Um, calibration, I tried calibrating and was amazed that it cut on the lines like 
perfectly on the first calibration but calibration is just so much faster as well the Cricut calibration is so dumb because it has to cut like 20 lines and then you have to check it but with this one it's kind of a manual thing it was kind of weird at first um, I'm not gonna go into it if you want like a full detailed cameo review let me know I can walk through everything but just for now um, the yeah the calibration process is super simple you can move the blade manually which is really really weird which you need to do for the calibration um, but that is most of the positives um, so far I have not had any well I've had some cutting accuracy issues but unlike the Cricut the Cricut is so inconsistent and unpredictable that you have to keep changing it like it's a constant guessing game with the cameo I had to actually still use my nudge trick where I had to go back into the design space and nudge it a little bit but it was just so much easier to do and once I've done that then it's just consistent like it has just been so much more consistent than the Cricut but I do want to say that there are still a ton of issues with the cameo and no machine is perfect so I guess it was kind of wrong of me to expect to get the cameo and then all my problems disappear there's definitely still going to be problems um, it's kind of like pick your battles which problems do you want to have so with the cameo I've already run into quite a lot of issues one it's taken me a long time to get used to the cut settings with the different paper but that is to be expected with all cutting machines that took me a really long time with the Cricut as well um, and I'm starting to get the hang of it, which is okay. That's not the Cameo's fault. Um, and it's kind of hard because there's not many resources out there, especially for the sticker paper I'm using. Because if you're using online labels, they have their own recommended cut settings, which makes it really easy. So I've had to go through a lot of paper, unfortunately, because of that. I've had some weird issues where it's not reading the registration marks properly, but that's more like one out of... 20 times that's happened so it was very rare the blade kind of glitched out um, and because it has to set the depth of the blade every time for each project because that's how it it's that's how it determines how deep to cut and it's awesome because that's how you do the die cut and the kiss cut but the thing is several times it kind of glitched out because I might have interrupted it in the middle of a project and it didn't correctly have the blade setting so what I had to do was restart the cameo give it a little break, restart the software, and it worked again, and it hasn't happened since, fingers crossed, but that's just one thing I have encountered, so it's not perfect. Um, I There was a glitch with the printing, so most of you probably know this if you have a Cameo, but when you're printing from the Send tab, apparently it's a glitch with um, version 4.4, there's like weird glitching missing images and the images is kind of skewed so eventually I figured out to just print from the design tab and I haven't had any issues since thank god but it did take me a while to figure that one out so I spent like two full days basically just trying to figure out how to use a cameo because some of the workflow is different now um with circles for example like I have a full video on how to add bleed for Cricut and in Cameo, like Silhouette Studio, there's a feature in there that lets you add a bleed. Like it's called an offset and you can change that offset to be any color you want, any thickness. It gets so easy. It's built in. Um, and the just the features are a lot easier. The Silhouette Studio is not perfect though. It looks great, but I don't know if it's my laptop. It's very slow on my laptop and scrolling in and out is horrible, but it's also horrible on Cricut. I'm just... I'm just expecting it to work like Photoshop or Affinity Photo because I'm just, I love how smooth and native the scrolling is, but I don't know why in these design softwares it doesn't work as well. So I kind of have to hold down a key and kind of like scroll with my mouse or, <laughs> that's a trackpad, um, or click the zoom button. So it's a little bit clunky that way, but again, still the same as Cricut. You couldn't do that in Cricut either. I'm trying to like zoom in with the trackpad. Another thing is you can't really move multiple projects together by changing the X and Y. For some reason that doesn't work for me, but what they do have, which is kind of cool, is you can set the value that it moves by. So I like 0.02 because that's what I always nudge by, and you can move it in all four directions and have multiple objects grouped together for that. So that's kind of cool that way. It automates it and you don't need to mess around with the numbers. You just nudge it by a certain number each time. 
I love how you can customize the cut settings a lot more. It's not just um, pressure. You can actually change the blade speed and blade acceleration and the blade tip, like how much the blade tip is exposed. That is really good for like customizing it. But then at the same time, when you're first getting started, it can be really confusing because there are so many different factors now, but that definitely does come with um, practice. And I was having, the main problem that I was having was with my circle stickers. This literally, I'm saying it now, but this literally took me a whole day to figure out and I've only just figured it out and it's been three days now. So it's kind of driving me crazy. So it doesn't cut circles as expected. So I would have like on my freebie, so with this design, it would cut these out perfectly, smoothly, smooth cuts, everything. But once it got to the circles, it started doing like really, really jagged cuts. And I couldn't figure out why, because I'm like, it's the same file. And I've tried everything, guys. I've tried making making sure that the circles are vector, making an outline, doing different types of cuts for the cameo. But then Kevin decided, well, not decided, Kevin realized that when he touched it, the texture of the circles is much different to just the paper or just having like the image on the paper, like the freebie. Um, but printing a whole circle changed the texture of the paper and I think it's because of the way the ink settles on the paper. So it's an issue, yes, kind of with Cami, but mostly with the type of paper. Um, and I could either get different clear paper for the ink to settle in, which I might do, but because I have orders to pack, I had to stick with this paper. Um, and what would happen was when I looked closer, the auto blade was getting like caught on the paper. There was like friction and it was causing it, it was like interrupting its smooth cut, which was really weird. So the circle left, like it imprinted like a ink layer, like it's just, and made the paper thicker which caused the auto blade to get caught on it. I'm not explaining it well. So what I had to do was reduce the force as much as possible. I tried to put the blade on one, which is the lowest setting, but then it wasn't cutting deep enough. So I had to put it on blade depth two and reduce the force to one and make it cut twice. And the speed is kind of in the middle at five and that seems to work. It doesn't, have the jagged edge and the stickers peel off cleanly so um so far so good i've had some weird issues where like it'll work and then the next one i cut doesn't really work with cut setting so like my problems with the, the cameo not the cricket my problems with the cameo haven't been to do with consistency of cuts it's more to do with like the actual cut settings whether it's actually cutting through properly. I always have to check if it's actually like the sticker is fully cut around. <laughs> um, I haven't really had that problem with white sticker paper. It's just clear sticker paper, the bane of my existence, but I love clear sticker paper. I've only had problems with that. So if you're doing only white sticker paper, I'm sure you don't have any problems at all. But that is basically what I've encountered the last two days. That's my takeaways so far. Um, should you switch? Well, it depends if you're having a lot of problems with Cricut. If it's getting to the point where you're like, I can't work, I can't pack these orders because the Cricut just won't cut. The Cricut is just so inconsistent, it won't cut. If you're getting to that point, then yeah, it might be worth switching. I hear that the portrait is all that you need really, just for sticker sheets. I, because I'm so used to having the 12 by 12 and I, I like having the bigger space for like future proofing it in case I wanted to cut something bigger in the future, I went with the cameo, but the portrait apparently is exactly the same. The only difference is the size, but don't quote me on that. You might need to do a bit more research. So overall, it's not a perfect machine. It is, the software is substantially better. Um, apparently they updated a lot as well. In terms of consistency of cuts, it's a lot better, but I'm still running into issues. So it's not perfect. But I'm glad I switched because I just remember every single sticker paper that I loaded into Cricut, just had no idea how it would turn out. And with Cameo, a lot of that feeling is gone. I can kind of just let it do its thing most of the time and it actually cuts pretty well. Once I get all the cut settings down, I think I will feel a lot better. My 
my process, my workflow will be a lot faster because I'm still in the early stages, but oh, and it's freaking so loud. <laughs> That should have been the first thing I said. It is the loudest thing ever. So people were telling me that it's loud. I'm like, oh, but the cricket is loud. Like, it's fine. I'm used to it. Like, it doesn't matter. The cameo is on another level of loud. Like, it's insane how loud it is. And, like, the squeakiness. It's not just loud cutting. It's, like, squeaky and it sounds like it's breaking. It's just, it doesn't sound nice at all. But I honestly don't care if it's going to cut well. It just sounds like... A machine like an actual industrial machine now so um, I don't mind at all it looks great oh another thing is that you can't unload the mat unless the button pops up so it's a touch screen kind of light up buttons and unless the unload button um, lights up I can't just unload it when I want whereas with Cricut if I paused I could unload it straight away but that's just a minor thing I shouldn't need to unload too much because sometimes it's cutting wrong and I like kind of pause it and I want to unload it straight away and I have to wait for like a minute <laughs> for the button to pop up for some reason it's kind of weird um and I was cutting vellum paper so I always kind of had a problem with vellum paper in the Cricut because it would tear through it and it would I don't it would get caught in the Cricut so that really really thin vellum paper would always get caught in the Cricut and I've cut it three times already and haven't had any issues with it so it seems to be handling that material a lot better I don't know if it's something to do with the blade um, but so far so good I'm going to keep you guys updated of course um, let me know if you have any other, question, any other questions about it the generic mats that I bought from Amazon actually perfectly fit the cameo machine so it's kind of perfect as well but I'm going through those really fast and I don't know if it's because it's a generic mat it's not as sticky um, but it just seems like such a waste but that is all for now I gotta finish packing some orders and if there's anything else I guess I will tell you guys about it later I hope that helps so just to recap if your cameo if your cameo if your cricket is working I would stick with it because it's not the cameo is not a perfect fix it's not a perfect machine but if you you've gone to the point where your cricket is just absolutely ridiculous it's wasting you way more paper and ink than it's just wasting so much paper and ink then you might want to consider switching because it might save you more money in the long run and you might be able to resell your cricket machine because I think a lot of people it's a great machine for just cutting but when it comes to accuracy, not so much. But it's a great machine for cutting. Um, and I never had problems with cutting circles on the Cricut. I found out with the other, where I said it was tearing the circles, it was actually the paper, not the Cricut. So there are so many different problems. Machines are not perfect, but you just gotta choose the one that will better serve you in the long run, I guess. So I hope that helps. Bye.